there it is. Sometimes a goal can result in a double score, that's correct. That um, causes you getting 20 points instead of 10, if you are an athlete. If you ever make it to be an athlete, because it's not mandatory. So, so many people <sighs> know me. I think I know you. Can you feel? Uh, can you feel the? Can you feel the wind in your hair? I do, in my long, equally long hair, and it feels great. I know, right? Flying is the absolute best. Blazing through the air with incredible speed, dodging other players. I've never felt so alive. Being up here reminds me of flying. You seem to miss it a lot. I do. I remember the day I was drafted, the moment I took off for the first time. I felt like I had never lived before. I was in my element. I completed the obstacle course and even had 20 seconds left. An odd second long, I felt disappointed because I had to take off the flying armor. And then I got the call. Casper Goldenshine, the legendary captain for the Stargazers, who helped the team becoming champion of the galaxy for nine times, was on the other end of the call. I barely could speak. I was in tears. All the hard work, all the years. And then the greatest team of all chose to draft me. Me? An ordinary girl. I grew up in serenity, watching the team every game day. When I was old enough, I would save up money to afford tickets. And now, I was a part of that legendary squad. What happened next? I kept training even harder. I couldn't wait to get back in the air again. When the next game day finally came, I felt like I was going to explode. My stomach clinching, my heart beating. I was so afraid that I couldn't, that I would. <laughs> I was so afraid that I wouldn't be able to catch a ball with those shaking hands of mine. All that with the whole world watching me. How did you overcome it? I didn't. My legs were shaking. I barely made it through the tunnel. I would have tripped if Justin, Justin Clearwater, didn't catch me. He smiled at me, told me I did even better than him in his first game. We finally reached the end of the tunnel in front of us, the abyss. The gate behind us had closed. There was no way back. The air was filled with sparks of flying players and for me there was no other option than to jump into the darkness of the stadium. Did you fall? It was like a miracle had happened. As soon as I was airborne everything fell off me. The stress, the pressure. Who cared about that? I finally was back in my element. Flying was easy. Flying was fun. I flew one round through the stadium when finally, after all those years of longing, I saw the golden shimmer of the smash ball right in front of my eyes. In that moment I knew I had a mission. If it wasn't for Justin that day, I don't know if I would ever have made it. He showed me the fun part of the game. He made me forget all of my fears. <laughs> wow. You have great strength, Naomi. And Justin certainly helped. Incredible. Here we are in the city. Let me save the game quickly. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Look at the view. There are the shuttles. Going to unknown locations. Unknown for us. I guess the shuttle pilots know where they are going. Who are you? I don't know if it is recommended to get that close to a tiger. I'd rather I'd rather talk to Crotch. Do you want a glimpse in your future? Okay. <laughs> No. I read in the tea leaves that your future looks 
Grim. Everything you love will be taken away from you without anything you love then. You have to love the things that you don't love. And as soon as you love them, they will be taken away as well. You also will suffer a slow and painful death. <laughs> Just mentioning. You will not love this faith. And that's why it won't be taken away from you. <laughs> okay. Are you sure you're not taking any drugs? I mean, probably your brain is performing at a higher level than mine. But I somehow like you a lot. <laughs> you remind me of, of a fictional person that I found very funny. Oh, poor, poor soul. I wish I could do anything for you. Yeah, how about um, telling me a bit of fortune? Like, dude, come on. And here we have him. Like, we saw him in the spaceport too. Come on, let's, let's talk to people. This is going to be the communi communicative episode. Yo! Uh, Ruben. Ruben it was, right? Ruben it is, babe. Gonna be in the office soon again, babe. Work hard, play hard, you know? Oh, uh, wh what do you work as? Mid-level accounting, like. Shit's going crazy and all. But I really got the minds to do the signs, am I right? Like, ice cold killer man. <laughs> like you bet your sweet ass on that. People going nuts and they ain't got the nuts complaining like brats, but to we the studs, you know? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, look who we have here, Justin. Justin Clearwater, that was. The, the guy who, who helped that lady back there. No. Uh, what are you planning there? <laughs> Lady, excuse me, but, like, I don't feel that is the best idea. And, and <laughs> you shouldn't be applauding her. Dude, just... <laughs> hey, everybody, come on, let's talk to her. Miss Turnip, you are. Like, really. <laughs> Hello, darling. Fab. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. I haven't seen your face yet in Mirage City. Or at least, what is visible of it. What brings you here, dear? I'm looking for a new beginning, actually. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> oh, gee, old lady rocking those rhymes, spitting those lines in the faces of the slimes. <laughs> I don't have an apartment. Um, do you know who could help me? Because Paul is an absolute asshole. And she would she had an apartment and he refused to give it to me. To us. Oh poor you, dear. You know what? I am renting a couple of flats and somebody moved out because of the uh, because the neighbor has explosive diarrhea. It's a bit shabby, but at least you have some roof over your head. Oh, gladly. Thanks for your kindness. I wish it was that easy in real life. I really wish it was that easy. Um, I made it that easy because I freaking hate chain quests where you are being like given one quest and being promised to get a reward. Like you get your flat when you bring me 10 whatever or when you talk to whoever and then you want to... You want to talk to that person, but you see, oh, this person is in a locked area and you have to do like five different quests to unlock the area. And then you can talk to the person, but this person won't help you before you didn't um, perform another 10 quests for them. And that's what I really, really, really don't like in games. That's why I try to make it very easy here. Anyways. <laughs> Look, that guy. Is that Ruben? No. No, it's not. It's, it's, okay, I'm going back. It's that giant tiger again. Hello, kind sir. You helped me a lot um, when we were at the spaceport. Can I talk to you? Can I help you, th citizen? Hello, Spectra. How safe is the city? What would you say? Mirage City is fine. Don't worry. 
It's the jewel. The oasis in the midst of doubt, exploitation, and despair. It's where people celebrate life to its core. Where everybody is welcome, because curiosity is stronger than fear. Vibrant, wi vibrant vibes buzzing in the air. Laughter and excitement, wherever you are. It's great to be a part of this. Tell me about the other cities. What city should we talk about? Uh, not all of them. But I heard about Serenity, where Naomi is from. The girl we talked to. This is where the planet's resources are bundled. Serenity is where the elites hide themselves from the eye of the public. Protected by legions of spectres. They hide behind shimmering walls of the Golden City. Everything that gets forcefully milked out of the other districts get wasted, gets wasted here. Excessive wealth governs the area. Cosmetic surgery is a part of the daily routine. Vanity and excess. This is the essence of serenity. <laughs> yeah, fuck rich people, honestly. <laughs> you know what? Yes, fuck them. <laughs> Not all of them are bad. Some can be quite dangerous, though. I want to know more. We are in... What was it called? Mirage City? What would you... I... How about Saint Morg? Saint Morg. A magnet for the tormented. It is here where those seek shelter that won't stand a chance elsewhere. The grim features of poverty are carved into the city's face. Barely anyone can afford a ticket to a Smash Ball game. Yet they love their corpses more than anything that can be taken out of context. That's why you often see up to 50 people around one little TV. This is what gives them hope in a place where the last sparks of hope usually get relentlessly drowned in alcohol. Okay, corpse? Court. Corpse mentioned the corpses. I don't think so, but yeah. It is great to see you are taking care of him. I didn't. He's a great person that had a ton of bad luck. I want to know more, uh, but later. Okay. Let's save the game quickly, just to be safe. Who are you, Ellie? Ah, the I recall you. You are the Venom Rush fan. Okay, I will just talk to you, and then I will leave. Hey! Ah, the Venom Rush fan of the spaceport, yes. What was your name again? I am Ellie. Can't you tell me yours? <laughs> sure, that's not a secret. I am... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Some seagull decided the best location to empty its bowels was right over your head. Our, over our head. Because you and I, we are in it together. <laughs> your head is as spoiled and tainted or whatever as mine. Yeah, guess it's my lucky day. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, here, take a tissue. But again, what's your name? I am... Another shuttle arrived from the spaceport. Leaving the shuttle are a quite noisy bunch of Merlin's fans chatting excitedly about the coming game and already rehearsing their battle songs. You suspect none of them will ever become professional singers. Take Ellie and start dancing to their own. No. We are going to call the Spectres. These loud and intrusive behaviors cannot be tolerated. Somebody enjoys a good bit of fun. Um, nobody enjoys a good bit of fun as much as I am, as we are. But this goes too far. We have the feeling that the Spectre must have had a very long night. She keeps yawning the whole time as we describe the noisy vandalism of those rascals. Turning around, we notice... Ellie is gone. 
Those Smash Ball fans must have scared her away. Let's leave.